Now we all know that swelling is bad and um, you know swelling is a sign of an injury of course as well but what effect does swelling itself actually have on you know muscle work you know it's been, I say it to patients all the time you know oh, if you've got any pain or you've got any swelling that creates inhibition of muscle and uh, therefore your muscles don't work correctly and therefore there's going to be a problem but just how much fluid is normal in a knee for example and uh, how much would it take then to create a deficiency in, in strength of the quads because we know the quads are a little bit of a wimp when it comes to swelling and pain. Now obviously you've got to take this research with a pinch of salt because one thing that I cannot do and nobody can do in normal clinical settings is to measure the amount of fluid in the knee. Um, but this will give you an idea because if you think about the knee itself, the capsule of the knee is pretty large. Um, and therefore it, it does take quite a lot of fluid in that knee to actually see fluid. So a lot of the time therefore, you probably don't even notice that it's swollen when it's actually got some excessive fluid in there. Uh, and if you know what milliliters look like in a, in, a, uh, in a glass or something, then this will give you an insight into what's normal and how much it takes to diminish the quads. So normal amount of fluid, synovial fluid, the normal fluid in the knee joint, uh, and in another synovial joint as well. But in the knee joint, it's five to 10 milliliters is considered normal. Now, what it took to get the quads to diminish activation, right, by 15%, which is not massive, but it's still significant, uh, was actually 60 milliliters. Yep, so 60 milliliters. So I know that's six times more than normal, but 60 milliliters, put that in a glass, it's not a lot. And when you think of the size of a knee joint, it's not a lot. So it does show that swelling makes the muscles conk out. And this is why I see all the time in clinic, if I get someone in and they've got pain, swelling in their knee, their quads have shrunk. Obviously this is something that's really important to make sure it doesn't happen. And this is why we use things in clinic like the muscle stem to try to obviously bypass that neurological inhibition that occurs from the central nervous system. So if you can't contract your muscles very well, then the muscle stem can bypass that and get that muscle functioning. And obviously then when the fluid goes down and it settles down, then your muscle's gonna start working better anyway. So it's a good thing to use the muscle stem in the short term, especially when there is some swelling and there is some pain, because you're gonna get that inhibition. But it was an interesting study looking at, uh, you know, exacting numbers on swelling versus just saying swelling inhibits, it's an amount. And I know that you can't really measure this, but it shows you it's a small amount. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.